Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new league racing video. This is WR round number 9 around Zandvoort in the Netherlands, my home track. And today we're gonna try and extend the championship lead in WR. Uh, as you can see, we're going for our first Q1 run there. Um, but as you can see, we're leading by 20 points to Ismail Fassi and 50 points exactly to Thomas Ronheim P3, 52 points to Otis Lawrence in P4. So our main objective here today is to finish ahead of Ismail Fassi in order to extend the championship lead uh, today in Zandvoort. And as you can see, we are just gonna start our uh, first lap in Q1. Or as I should say, we just had it into turn one, as I said that. And we're gonna try and as per usual, get into Q2 on a single set of tires, um, which is easier said than done. So. That basically means we're only going to try and get through into Q2 by just doing one run and absolutely nailing this run. So, so far it's been decent. Uh, didn't get to practice a lot for this round because I was out carding all day. Um, and yeah, I, I kind of just, during the week I'm taking a chill from uh, playing the F1 game anyway because, yeah, there's not much to practice for other than league racing. So, um, when the new game comes out I'll be making an insane amount of hours again. Um, and yeah, at the moment I'm just working on other stuff in life, basically. Uh, as you can see, Thomas go to provisional P1 there with a 107.835. And we come across the line and do a 108.032. And it puts us P5. And that was enough to get into Q2, actually. Um, as Iker Bain, I didn't make it into Q2. Actually, by doing this exact same lap time as uh, Andre Tarabukin. Um, so that was very unlucky. For him, um, but yeah, we are uh, gonna go into Q2. Uh, enough runs or enough time available in Q2 to do three runs. Uh, Sound for the very short track, very short pit lane, and it makes it easy to do three runs in Q2. So we can do the first one on used, uh, as you can see here. Uh, have enough time to make it into the box again after our flying lap, and then still do two new sets of tires for Q2. Um, of course, you don't need to save any tires anymore for the race, uh, simply due to the fact that there's a lobby reset for the race in every league we do these days, uh, simply because uh, there's always grid penalties, unfair grid penalties given by the game uh, for driving slowly on your outlap. So um, that's why there's always a, a lobby reset and that's why we don't need to save another set of tires for the race in Q2. However, um, into a final run in Q2 we go. Uh, we're only P10 at the moment. Our used tire run was fastest of everyone, but our first new sets of tires was only P10, as you can see in the top left. And yeah, we're gonna have to improve here in order to make it into Q3. Now, the good news is that Zanford is such a small track, and usually the lap times are so compacted that. If we improve like one tenth, we'll probably jump up like seven, eight positions, maybe maybe even go to P1. Um, so currently, you can see in the top right, we're only six, seven endros up, but that could easily get us into Q3. Uh, as we go into the final sector, picked up a little bit of gravel there with our rear tire. As we go into the final corner of this Q2 session, and you can see we picked up another 400 through that final corner. As we open a DRS across the line, we're currently P11, but we're gonna go up to P2, actually, purple last sector there. So, clutch that, that up nicely. And yeah, as I said, a uh, very close Q2 session. Um, and yeah, as you can see, actually, P1 to P10 within uh, 0 0.105 seconds. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, it's just so close. If P9 improves 300, he will go up to P4. So, yeah, uh, insanely close qualifying session again. And now we go on to Q3. Uh, we've got two new sets of tires for this Q3 session. And we're gonna be pushing it as hard as we can in our banker lap. And unfortunately, we just clipped the grass on the entry. Uh, small misjudgment with huge consequences. Luckily, 
the tire model on F1 slows you down so incredibly fast when you spin that it kept us out of the wall. Um, because if that's real life or iRacing racing or any game that doesn't slow you down that fast when you spin, um, you're in the wall. Uh, so we were very lucky there with the physics of F1 23. But this also means that we've only got one more opportunity um, to get ourselves a decent qualifying time on the board because this is the one that matters. Uh, if we invalidate or make another mistake, we're going to be down in P10 for sure. So uh, half a tent up as we go into sector 2 in a second. And now no mistakes needed. Purple first sector as we go into sector 2. And this is where we made a mistake last time around. So uh, you can see the delta shoot up and we don't really have any clue what position we're gonna go until we cross the line so we just have to keep our head down and keep pushing flat out yellow flags for some slow moving cars that are about to start a lap uh, it is a 47.035 that's almost one tenth faster on the middle split than our Q2 lap and let's see what we can pull off into the final sector let's hope we can pull off another purple sector but we're going to be one of the first to cross the line, so we might go P1 for a second, but there's still so many people to finish their final laps, and we go P2. Um, so you can see it shows all purple Both sectors, but uh, they actually were not all purple sectors, simply due to the fact that the sector colors are just very messed up on the F1 game. Um, but yeah, we ended up in P8, not a great quality for us, um, but crucially... Uh, we are ahead of our championship rival Ismail Fassi because he went out in Q2. Um, as you can see, he is down in P11. So, bad qualifying for us. But nonetheless, we are ahead of our championship rival and that's all that matters at the moment. Xander van Dijken actually in P1 there had a stellar qualifying lap ahead of our teammate Jake Luck. Benham in P2. So, Luck. Uh, starting on the softs here, whereas a lot of people around us are on the hearts, it's going to be five red lights. And away we go for round number nine of WR. And you can see I'm shaking my wheel. Deck. And that's because we've got no 4C deck. Um, and yeah, it's near impossible for me to drive without 4C deck. There are some drivers on the grid who can drive really well with really low 4C deck settings. But yeah, as most people know, I use a lot of 4C deck because I come from the real racing world. And you can see I'm trying to pause the game to regain my force feedback, which sometimes works, but this time it didn't. And I just need a moment to restart my wheel. But this is not ideal for us because, yeah, we can't make up any positions um, while we have no force feedback. So, oh. <laughs> you can hear me say. Um, yeah, I wasn't happy with Fanatec not oh my God, the having so force feedback and it took so long to force get again. my force feedback so back as well. Questions. And you can see my AI used quite a bit of ERS. We dropped 8, 9, 10 and instead of gaining 3, 4 positions on this set of softs, we are now basically stuck in P8 and now our championship rival Ismail Fassi has made up 2 positions starting on the mediums and we've just been stuck. And we've also used up 33% of ERS, so this has been a nightmare start for us. Uh, now we have to make up the gap to Philip Rachenator. While we're making up the gap, we also have to recharge our battery. And yeah, this has just been a horrendous opening lap to our race. Um, and also trying to gain points to Ismail Fasnian Championship. Now, the big issue is here that we started on the softs. Uh, while we started on the softs, we gained no positions on the start it wouldn't be as much of an issue if we were on the hearts but we're on the softs and as you can see I'm boxing at the end of lap 11 in order to go for an extreme undercut uh, you can see one other driver has gone for an extreme undercut as well it's Dylan Warren and it's coming through the final corner um, he has gone for the hearts we've gone for the hearts as well um, and that's because the mediums might be able to make it to the end from here I'm not sure actually but um, we've gone for the hearts simply um, because we will still be able to get a decent undercut and at the same time um, keep our tires alive. So 
Let's hope this goes all well. Um, we are down in P18 at the moment, so we need to hope that there's gonna be no safety car, because if there's a safety car in the next five to 10 laps, we are screwed. So um, lap 13 now, and you can see Ismail Fassi has gone for an aggressive strategy as well. He's gone for the hearts, medium to hearts at the end of lap 12. And he's come out ahead of Dylan Warren as well, so that's no ideal. Um, and yeah, I kind of hoped that Dylan Warren would be uh, between us, but game's the game. Uh, we're gonna have to keep pushing to try and gain as many positions as possible uh, with this undercut. It's a purple middle sector, and we said the fastest lap of the race in lap 13, so that means a very successful undercut. Um, and now we've got Tom Manley coming out right behind us, and now he was actually in the top three, if I remember correctly. So it basically means that the undercut is complete, and now we can start recharging our battery. You can see it's dropped to 40%. Okay, was he behind you? I'm the right on the gearbox. And yeah, as Jake say, Tom Manley right on the gearbox of him uh, when he boxed. So we've got a two lap disadvantage on the tires. Um, but yeah, that's, that's not huge actually, because this is the hardest compound available. Uh, you can see we're just gonna let Tom Manley go. We're lifting a little bit so he can take the racing line. Uh, and now we're just gonna stay behind him, recharge the battery. Uh, we're basically in a net P2 at the moment. Um, if everyone would box right now, we would be in net P2. But then, of course, everyone behind would have a lot of fresher tires. So we have to recharge our battery uh, as fast as we can in the next few laps. You can see, lap 21, we're actually struggling a little bit to stay in the DRS of Tom Manley. I, I had to use a bit of my battery, not gonna lie, to stay in the uh, DRS. Uh, we've got Reese Linton in P4 behind us. Um, however, the final person has just boxed, which was Yoni Tormala. Um, and there are a lot of really fresh tire runners catching up. Now, we do have a two lap disadvantage, but it seems like we actually just don't have the race pace at the moment, as I felt like a two-lap disadvantage wouldn't be this much of a struggle to keep up with Tom Manley. We've got Jake, our teammate, right behind us at the moment on the hearts. Now, watch out for Luke behind. Not we're sure not going to be fighting him because he has so much fresher tires I mean, than us. Well, so. um, we would be hurting his race a yeah. lot if we would be fighting this. Uh, and we would be hurting our own race Good. as well uh, if we would be fighting this. So I lift a little bit to let him through so that we can slot in right behind him. Um, and stay in P3. Now, we have to pick our battles wisely here. Um, ideally, we stay out of Luke, but... In the Luke box, do you know? Uh, same as me, I think. Okay. Have you had a drop? Uh, 4%. 4% interval drop? Yeah. And, yeah, Luke on similar tires to Jake, and again, this is a battle we have to play smart. I'm not sure what Luke was trying with that move, but that was a huge risk um, for a position that he was most likely going to get anyway. Um, so, yeah, could have played kind of hard to get there, but again, just trying to play my battles strategically. Now we've got Thomas behind us. He's on fresh mediums. And again, similar scenario. I don't want to fight this. Uh, Ismail Fassi, our championship rival, is still behind us and the objective here is to finish ahead of him. If I'm going to be fighting this till the very death, um, we might actually end up behind him. So again, slotting back into P5, we are just kind of being put on the back foot Thomas and Luke. Um, because the fuck? of the um, opening lap uh, steering wheel what issue happened? we had. And huh? I know, my backhand just completely stepped away. I felt like I wasn't even pushing. Oh my god. Tom is lagging so much. And yeah, as you can hear me say that, I was just very confused on what exactly happened there. I, I just had a huge snap of the backhand. And I still don't really know why. I feel like I was chilling and oh not god. even close to being on the limit. But oh. yeah, that happens sometimes in racing. Uh, having a huge moment when you don't really know why it happened. Um, I'm sure every driver uh, in real life on, or on the sim has kind of had that issue every once in a while. Um, but yeah, you could see a huge moment between 
uh, Reese Linton Thanks and so Thomas Gall. As you can see, I'm now struggling for tires going into the final two laps of this race. Uh, we've got Thomas Gall on a lot fresher mediums behind us. Um, however, we do have a full battery though, so uh, our tires are completely finished after 23 laps done on them. Um, it's going to be 25 in the race. You can see the tire right indicator has popped up in the bottom right. Um, and yeah, we're just going to try and stay in P5 ahead of Thomas Gall and uh, Ismail Fassi in P7. So um, in case Thomas does go for a very risky send, uh, we kind of have to play it sensible. Uh, we want to be finishing out of Ismail um, simply because of the championship. And yeah, you can see we've got a lot of batteries. So I reckon we can stay ahead of Thomas Gall in the, the uh, final no lap way he's this slow. of the race. As you can hear Jake raging <laughs> because of some reason. Um, and yeah, we're going to be able to stay ahead of Thomas into turn one for sure. He's not going to be close enough to even consider a move. Uh, the only thing is that I've kind of worried uh, for the middle sector because our tires are so worn. Isvan Pukki is retired from the session um, because the middle sector requires a lot from your tires and we do not have a lot of that left. So um, P5 would kind of be a really good result in my opinion. We started down in P8. Uh, we had an issue in the opening lap that put us on the back foot and we still gained three positions if we stay ahead there. So, ha kind of happy with this race. Um, I can't believe I'm saying that for P5. But, yeah, that steering wheel issue cost us um, oh. a shot at fighting for P4, 3, 2, 1. Um, because, yeah, we just don't have any tires left. We were forced on to... Yeah, and not ideal strategy. Uh, ideal scenario is having gone a few laps later and doing the same strategy as Tom Manley or even Jake. Um, oh, what a but terrible race. Yeah, Just P5. expected second. It is. After, um, yeah, a kind of compromised <sighs> race. But nonetheless, we extended the championship lead by four points. Um, and that's what we had to do, you know. Uh, we do kind of have to start getting worried about Thomas. Uh, because he was 59 points behind uh, and once again he has closed the gap by 15 points um, but yeah uh, nonetheless Ismail is at the moment still our main title rival going into next race um, so we're going to be focused on him and yeah uh, we're just going to try and continue to extend the gap to P2 in the championship hope you guys enjoyed um, this not ideal league race um, but yeah uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. You can't always win in racing. And that's just a fact. Um, it's a sport that... Or even eSports, I should call it. That, yeah, can have a lot of technical issues. Um, and we got hit by one of them today. And nonetheless, we also were just not fast enough. Simple as that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Ciao. Yeah.